we sometimes see athletes as superhuman. Toppin comes out of nowhere, uh, catching flight and scoring the putback. But when the game is over and the bright lights go out, they're often left with the mental struggles of performing at a high level. I was, I was messed up mentally. Um, I wasn't thinking right even when I was on the court. I wasn't fully on the court, so it was, uh, it was really hard for me. Following a game in early January, Kentucky senior Jacob Toppin opened up about his mental health struggles. Honestly, I, I, I probably reached rock bottom. There was no bottom. Uh, before this game, so uh, I just try to focus on climbing back out of the hole that I was in and uh, I took a step forward today. When you do find yourself in that in that place, you know, letting people know where you are mentally like like I think he did and um, having people who were close to him being able to reach out and him reaching out to people he trusts. Andre Riddick is very familiar with the mental struggles of playing basketball at a school like Kentucky. From Brooklyn, New York, Andre Riddick. The former Wildcats said he had his own struggles during his playing career. Well, Coach Patino set us up, set me up to go see a sports psychologist. And, um, you know, I, I met with him and talked with him, and I was able to kind of work through some things, and he really helped me out. And that's why, one of the reasons why I'm, I'm a counselor today, because of, you know, my experiences during that time. These days, Riddick is a licensed professional counselor in Lexington, helping those who, like Toppin, are dealing with mental health issues such as anxiety and depression. It's never that because I'm an athlete, I'm not human not, and I don't have things going on that I need uh, help with or need to talk to somebody about, you know, so it's the fact that we need to come away from making people, you know, looking at athletes as superheroes that don't have problems, but superheroes who do have problems. A recent study by the NCAA found that 30% of student athletes say they feel extremely overwhelmed with 25% reporting mental exhaustion. Another study reported 31% of male and 48% of female NCAA student athletes reported having depression or anxiety symptoms. We've done a lot of work and it's not been on the court. Um, you had guys feeling the weight of the world and that's why I came, it's not life and death. And while performance anxiety is not unique to athletes, it can be elevated due to their high profile and outside pressures through things like social media. I know I don't pay attention to it. I don't know if they don't. Sometimes I think they're reading that stuff. You just can't, it's a different time and age. You know, it's funny, I'm sitting with Jeff Shepard. Jeff, I said, Jeff, what if he had social media back then? I do think that as, as athletes are, are looking at their dreams and looking at their future, a lot of times they, uh, they miss the moment. And that, that's sad. They don't need to miss the moment. Jeff Shepard was a part of two national championship teams at Kentucky in 96 and 98 and remembers what it was like to feel the weight of the world on his shoulders. The best thing about Kentucky basketball, uh, the expectation. The worst thing about Kentucky basketball is the expectation. Advice he gives his son Reed, one of the top high school prospects in the country, who will suit up for the Wildcats next season. We tell him that, you know who's responsible for my mental health? My teammate, and I'm responsible for his. And when that relationship exists, then we got two people working. Now we got three people working. Now we have 12 people working. Now we have a whole community working. Now we can win. And it's that team mentality that has helped Jacob Toppin get back to the right frame of mind. Uh, I had a lot of support from my teammates and my coaching staff, and it just feels good to just be back to my old self. I feel good mentally and physically, so we just move forward and uh, try to get better as a team from here. In Lexington, Lee K. Howard, WKYT.